you know, it's like, you know, when I was young, I was, I was a pretty nervous guy, and I didn't really like to make a spectacle of myself in public. You know, I could hardly talk in public. But um, when I started going on Harinam Sanctam particularly, I, I just, I don't know, I just, confidence, I just felt so much more able to relate to people. It was really, really, it was really a great relief for me, actually. And I also realised, you know, when we were kids especially, and people in general, they spend money going to the gym, they spend money going to ballroom dances, drinking so they can feel a little free and easy. So much waste of time and money. And I experienced it just going on Sankatan, just dancing and chanting. I was getting more, much more, even materially speaking, than anyone could get or I could ever dream of getting from going to a ballroom dance or going to a pop concert or going whatever it's to the gym or something, you know. Health, good for the health, good for the soul, good for the mind. Everything was really wonderful. And we know when people are happy, what do they do? They put their hands up in the air and they sing and they dance. If they're victorious, they put their hands up. And we're doing it automatically, you know? putting up the hands in the air like this. It's a spontaneous thing. It's a wonderful thing. You don't have to waste your time going to sweat it out in the gym. Just go on Sankatan, sweat it out, have a good time. And then all the realizations will come. You don't start with realizations. Realizations come when we do it. You know, there's no point sitting around trying to get everything ready before we go. It will never happen. We just do it. And Krishna will realize, we get the realizations of what to do as we go along. Whether it's our dress, whether it's who's good at this, who's good at that. Just give it a try. Just do it and see for yourself. And we learn from scratch. I mean, when devotees were going out in different places around the world to spread Krishna consciousness, they knew nothing. They had no idea, practically speaking, a little bit, but very little, of what to do, how to do, you know, what the response will be, where we'll stay. And that's where you really find, when you take that little, you put yourself a little bit on the limb. They say that sometimes the best fruit, you'll find it on the limb, on the end of the, on the, end of the branches. So, you know, sometimes we have to go out a little bit. Just make that little effort and see for yourself just how joyful it is. And if you want to live, sometimes devotees get a little old, they want to live young. They, they think about being, you know, oh, I want to be a youth again. This is the way to be a youth again. Sankatan, Harinam Sankatan will keep you young also. Not only is it spiritually the most enlivening, the most, what can you say, joyful connection with their Lordship, Shishi Gornitai, Shila Haridas Takora. But it's also the most wonderful, wonderful way to keep young. You never grit, you never age if you absorb yourself in Harinam Sankatan. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Another thing is, you know, Harinam Sankatan is really for the whole family. It's not just me. You know, everybody, actually every single soul actually love would love to do Harinam Sankatan, you know. The freedom, the joy and the sharing with other living entities and the connection with Krishna. Everyone. Kids, old people. Drunkard people, it doesn't matter who you are, man or woman, Sankatan is for everyone. And it's really for the family. Lord Chaitanya's mood was, you know, for every family to perform Sankatan together. And we can also go out together as families on the street. And it doesn't matter. We can go with Brahmacharya, Sanya. We're all the same when we're on Sankatan. We're just all together doing the one thing, glorifying the holy name of Krishna and spreading the holy name. And I've seen that so, much, so many kids all over the world, they really love it's dancing and chanting, and not just our own kids, sometimes even more the children out there who really get into it. They love it. It's just natural because, it, 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 you know, spiritual life is like childlike, you know. You've got to be a little bit like that, a little bit innocent. It helps us to become innocent. It helps us to become free of envy and pride on all these things and bodily designations. And as you say, it's a great relief. It's just life becomes, you know, just so meaningful and so worth you know, it's so worth living. And I just, I just hope that everyone gets this opportunity to enter into Nagar Sangatan, chanting the holy names and being happy. Hare Krishna, thank you.